Hello and welcome to the third episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. We're playing the Direwolf 20 pack version 2.0 with some extras. Uh, as I said, I would, I went mining. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Where is it? Down here. There we go. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, while I was gone... Oh yeah, I also did some advancement in my monk levels. But uh, while I was gone, Dan made a smeltery from Tinker's Construct. For those who aren't familiar with it, it allows you to make kind of modular tools and weapons that uh, some consider to be a little overpowered, but I think we're just going for everything in this playthrough anyway, so uh, he won't be joining us tonight. Um, our schedules don't always line up, so we're just going to kind of go ahead without them but as promised we are gonna get into thermal expansion today so the first thing we're gonna need for thermal expansion is a dynamo we're gonna need power there we go nope not from pneumaticraft let's start with a steam dynamo so that's going to be silver, redstone, iron, copper. Some redstone. We're going to have to smelt a few things up here. Some silver. Some iron, copper, copper. There we go, that's all smelting. We have some glass here somewhere. Glass. Does that key work? Yep, okay, so we do not have glass. Sand? Yes, awesome. Only three. Okay, well, if we need glass, we might have to go hunting for a little bit of sand. It is getting to be nighttime, so let's get a rest so the monsters don't destroy us completely when we start building here. And how are we doing? Four copper, four silver, four iron. Well, we're on our way. So dynamo. And we need two more copper. Here we go. And there is a steam dynamo. You know what? I wouldn't mind building a second one of those because I know how much power we're going to be chewing through here. And yes, those sawing sounds, those come from uh, Dynamic Surroundings. It's one of my favorite mods that I've added to this pack. Yeah, that's one more. Here we go, one more. Of course, two more. Always with the more copper. go and there is a second steam dynamo now we're going to want an aqueous accumulator and we need glass of course we need glass exactly what I was saying okay so let's oh hello I did notice, uh, as I said last episode, I feel like there are some things in Monk Mod that are quite overpowered. However, I noticed that there's no way to enchant your fists, so there's no fortune, at least 
not yet. I'm only level 11 in the mod, but uh, there's no fortune. There's no AOE like hammer picking. Um, so we'll definitely be building some tools in a little bit. I want to build these thermal tools actually. Oh, where are they? These ones here. Um, oh yeah, we're over a stack. Yeah, let's just do a little bit more. Twenty, that should be good for now. That one? That one. Throw some sand in there. And we will get to making... Aqueous. Tin. I need tin. Silver so, oh, tin. Sixteen. There we go. So I'm just kind of trying to conserve my resources here. I don't want to cook up way too much of, of something because once we get into thermal expansion, we're going to get into ore doubling pretty quickly. And that will allow us a much better resource harvest from what we have harvested. There we go. Gears. There's our machine frame. We're going to need a whole bunch of those. And then I just need the three iron one. So we're going to need some leadstone flux ducts. Lead, of course. Leadstone. We've only got seven of that, so... May have to go hunting for some lead before long. But we should have enough for what we want to do today. Accumulator. I need a bucket, and there's the aqueous accumulator. I just realized I'm actually going to need a bucket to set up the water. What do they transfer? A thousand RF, that'll be enough for now. Fluiduct opaque. 
Now I like to see my fluids passing through here. So we'll do that. I'll grab all the resources that have processed. And then accumulator steam dynamo. And what do we need next? We need a This is my kind of go-to that I've got going here just to trim out a bunch of the junk. I thought about trimming out all the blocks and stuff, but eh, florbs and morbs are pretty huge, so we're just going to get rid of them. Um, just to show you without it, it's six pages because there's literally two pages of orbs. So uh, I do, I should actually get rid of the creative machines as well copy there we go so let's see a redstone furnace basic we're gonna need bricks which means we need clay I hope Dan did not use all of the clay and a pulverizer which we'll need flint for actually I can find out if he used all the clay he did not. hey clay Killing myself on the iron here. Alright. With the monk mod making me move faster, I keep feeling like I need to do everything at lightning speed. But I know that you guys may be more interested in seeing what I'm doing than. than I give myself credit for, so. One. Some of these, these I'm, I look forward to making viaducts, Futurama style, for those who've seen the show, Futurama style tubes that go all throughout my base. That'll be fun. And last one. Yay, and let's grab another iron while we're at it. So, pulverizer, bricks, machine frame, gold. And two copper gears. There we go. Will it take? Uh, we need flint. Pulverizer flint. There we go. That's what I want. To flint. More. Copper. restock those with some coal flint 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 we have while well, those are cooking up let's see what else we can do we'll need another gold I apparently need more glass we have sand here Stone and wood. That should be easy to come across. Uh, blocks. Wood and cobblestone. There we go. Oh, 
all of the copper and the glass. Two more copper gears. Four more iron. Oh, there we go. I was pretty sure I'd cooked up enough iron. Then a pulverizer. So where do we want to put these is the question. phone. We don't need you to be bothering us right now. I'll let them run, but uh little room for now we're gonna expand it once we've got some hammers and our drills or whatever but uh... This is not my house. I thought this building was my house. Okay. That building is my house. There we go. So that will be... It's just going to be a straight power line. Zombies have access to me, though. Let's get out of here. Okay. That starts feeding water into the... Into... You can pull the water out of those steam dynamos. That is something I did not know. up. We'll put down this, this, and I believe the mod to do this is in here. It is good. Four chests. So we've got pulverizer. Not enough space to do what I want, so we're going to have to rig this a little bit.
orange. That's what I want. There we go. So input from the left, output to the right. Good. Okay. And you're going to input from the top. We'll get rid of this guy. Chest, chest, double chest. As I said, improv. Okay. They don't have power because we need coal. Coal power. some pretty inefficient power sources but at least they'll give us what we need for now this gets us into more doubling I will completely admit I have a bad little habit of dumping my inventory into places as I, I say as I do that Gold, silver, iron, copper, tin. Yeah, I think those are all we're going to do. So we dump those in. Auto input enabled. Auto input enabled. Uh, for those of you who don't know why I put the chest in between, the, uh, there are certain ores that when pulverized, I believe gold is one of them, magma crucible, nope, redstone furnace pulverizer, they give off weird things like cinnabar. And cinnabar, actually, there it is right there. Won't go into the redstone furnace. Oh, it does now. Oh, dear. What does it get? Oh, it is ore dictionary with cinnabar from Thomcraft. I don't like that. Cinnabar has a very valuable use. I might have to arrange this in a different way. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just turn that off for now, and then I'll come back when all the gold is done. And we will just pull the cinnabar out for now. We're going to have to figure out a better solution for that in the future. But for now... We did get some diamonds on our first, actually, 11. We got quite a few diamonds on our first trip out. So there we go. So far, we have power and a pulverizer and redstone for us or doubling, which is awesome. Not very fast. These are going to need to be upgraded. These things right here, upgrade kits. First one will be Invar, which we have to... Smelt Invar Blend, Iron and Nickel. I do believe we got a little bit of nickel. Five pieces of nickel. Not a lot. And every piece of Invar. Every three pieces of Invar is one piece of nickel. So right now I can only make 15 Invar total. And one hardened upgrade kit takes four. So, we're going to need more nickel, without a doubt. That's going to take a while. We'll just leave it. It's going to burn through some power. But you know what we should do while we're here? Speaking of power, one last thing. We should try and make an energy cell. Gold, redstone, lead, iron. I don't know 
if we'll have what we need. But we'll try. Oh, Electrum. The energy cell actually takes Electrum. Which is gold and silver. Is this an ingot cast? It is. Gold and silver. I've been watching uh, Dadcraft 73's One Man One Mod Thermal Expansion series, and uh, oh goodness, he has actually got quite a bit going on here, gold and silver, I did not pay attention to that. Okay. Apparently there was tons of iron already smelted up and I missed it. And an ender pearl. Ooh, an ender pearl. The silver's melted, waiting on the gold. Turn that back on, Electrum. There we go. Cube. One of those. Glass. Glass. Energy cube. We're short some lead. Alright, so apparently we are not doing that today because we are out of lead. We're going to have to go resource gathering for some lead. That's alright because it looks like we're just getting right up to the wrapping up point. So... Another quick recap, we built an oculus accumulator, I can't speak apparently, um, hooked it up to a couple of steam dynamos, which are generating all the power in the world for us, pulverizer and redstone furnace, so that we can ore double. I'm going to have to go do some mining, look for lead and nickel as well as of course tons of other resources and we will move forward uh, in the next episode not quite sure where we're going yet but we will definitely do some more of that so thank you all again for watching my videos this is Kindar playing Minecraft 112.2, the Direwolf 20 pack version 2.0 plus extras. I hope to see you next time and take care.